Yo, what's cracking, peeps? Your boy T-Money up in the heezy. Happy Tuesday. I know it's been a little while since I've done a video, but I've been really busy with uh, work and life, and so I haven't had a chance. Plus, I didn't really have much to show you guys. So uh, here I am today, and uh, I've got a bunch of cool shit to show you. So first off, I wanted to see if anybody wanted to buy any of these items. The Executioner, I'll send, I'll send it to you for $15 shipped. Day of Anger, $15 shipped. Can't really beat that. That's a really good price. Um, so, today I've got three packages plus two that came in yesterday. I've got one from Umbrella. We've got two from Amazon. These big, useless... Ooh, and a loose disc I hear too. I hate those big cases though that they use. I think it's the biggest waste of space. So... Uh, we'll start off with uh, a couple of the Criterion stuff I got lately. I got Midnight Cowboy, starring Dustin Hoffman, from 1979, is it? 69, sorry. Uh, I've never seen this movie, but I heard great things, so I picked that one up. And then I got the brand new Bowling for Columbine. Excellent. Everybody's seen this, I think. It's an excellent documentary. Um, I think it's probably Michael Moore's best, but yeah, so I'm stoked that I grabbed this one. Then I grabbed this movie, which sounded really cool, The Lion in Winter, and it's just kind of like an epic uh, gladiator type movie from 1968, um, and newly restored in 4K, acting greats Peter O'Toole, Katherine Hepburn, Anthony Hopkins, Timothy Dalton, starring this epic masterpiece directed by Anthony Harvey, uh, behind the great stone walls of an English castle the world's most powerful empires in crisis. Three sons struggle to win their father's favor as well as his own, as well as his crown. King Henry II and his queen engage in a battle of royal wits that pits elder son Richard against his brothers John and Geoffrey. While the cunning king Philip of France takes advantage of the internal fracturing in his bid to destroy their kingdom, nominated for seven awards uh, including Best Picture. So yeah, sounds really good. Sorry, I know I read that kind of weird. Um, so I finally grabbed Sabata, and I didn't get this actually, surprisingly, I, I grabbed a bunch of stuff from the Kino sale uh, that they had recently. It hasn't, the stuff hasn't shipped yet, so I don't have it, but I grabbed this uh, because I couldn't find more than one movie at first when I first went to visit the Kino site that I wanted. So I grabbed this for like 15 bucks shipped on eBay. Sabata, and that that completes my Sabata collection, so I just want to show you that I have all three. Now I have the first one, uh, Adios Sabata, and then the third one, The Return of Sabata, which I think is uh, Leaf. The first two are Yul Brunner, or I'm sorry, the first two, 70, wait, how does this go? It says 69, 71, and 72, so I assume they were in that order, but wouldn't it make more sense that Lee, Lee Van Cleef were in two, and then the third was... Uh, Yul Brenner, so maybe something happened uh, with the release dates, I'm not sure. And then I grabbed this beauty of a media book, uh, The Gate 2, really, really nice DVD, Blu-ray combo pack, uh, all in German, but some really nice stills of the film. I grabbed this from Amazon.co.uk, so uh, yeah, it's really nice, you guys know what, what to expect in media books. Uh, it is Region B, but I think it does play on an all-region pl uh, player, and it has uh, special um, supplemental features from Michael Felcher at, at Red Shirt Pictures. I'm a big fan of his uh, work and features all together, so really stoked to have picked that one up. I got it for like 30 bucks, 35 bucks shipped from the UK, so not a bad deal for a media book. All right, and we'll get into the packages. So first up, I've got this loose disc package that I want to get into. Anxious get it open. These should all be Blu-rays. Alright, so first up we have The Martian Chronicles in a nice slipcover from Kino Lorber. Boom, boom. I actually didn't know it included a slip, so that's a nice bonus. And I honestly didn't know that this was from Kino Lorber. It was a little bit more pricey than your average Kino release. This one was 25 bucks, so I hope that's not a sign of prices to come from Kino because... They're usually slightly better priced than that, but we've got the Blu-ray, 
um, parts one and two, and then part three on a second disc. So it's two disc set. I've actually never seen the Martian Chronicles, so really excited. Uh, Ray Bradbury's Martian Chronicles. Newly restored and mastered in HD. Uh, Making Contact was the beginning of the end from the mind of legendary writer Ray Bradbury. Uh, springs what is perhaps his most epic vision, capturing mankind's first venture into the colonization of another planet and its tragic first contact with another species. The Martian Chronicles is a stunning achievement that will take you from the edge of your seat and to the stars. Earth is on the verge of extinction. To survive, mankind must find another place to live. And when three expeditions to Mars, headed by colonial John Wilder, find suitable conditions for relocations, humans pour in by the shipload, bringing the old evils of Earth with them. As Wilder begins to head the lessons of the dying Martian civilization, can he save humanity from repeating its own doom? Michael Anderson directed this epic miniseries miniseries directed by, or I'm sorry, featuring Gail Honeycutt, Bernie Casey, Darren McGavin, Roddy McDowell, excellent, Bernadette Peters, blah, 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 Fritz Weaver, so many, and I mean, so, uh, so on and so forth. Um, but yeah, so really cool. Like that slippy too, it's real slick, real sleek. Uh, nice matte finish. Dig that artwork for sure, so awesome. So that's the Martian Chronicles, and then in this package, we have a movie that I absolutely love and I didn't know this was put out by Retro Media but I'm a big fan of this movie it is the original Snow Beast my favorite of all of them if you guys like killer yeti films that have a nice winter atmosphere really cool very atmospheric I highly recommend you guys check this one out um, it's from 1978 I believe why does it say black? Uh, does it say black and white? This film isn't in black and white. Huh. Confused. Maybe maybe it says B, BBW, but I'm pretty sure it says B and W. But uh, Bo Svensson, Clint Walker, really good. Finally descending from its mountaintop hideaway comes Snow Beast, 1977. Another monster runs rampant entry into the dizzling world of low-budget TV movies. Penned by Joseph Stefano, who did The Outer Limits, I guess uh, some of them, and filmed in the dead of winter, Snow Beast has become a guilty pleasure with its fans. Sporting an impressive cast by Bo Svensson, Yvette Minimu, Sylvia Sidney, and Clint Walker, the film is played straight-faced regardless of, of the on-screen antics. Included here are two versions of the film, the CBS late-night movie rerun from 78, that clocked in at a reduced running time of 72 minutes and the longer original version restored using both digital and 35 millimeter film elements really cool and then in here you get all kinds of very nice really nice cool uh, disc artwork and then in here you get a whole bunch of uh, text I don't know if you guys can read that on the film but let me see if I can take it out and get rid of that glare there you go I can't really get rid of the glare, but maybe like that. But all sorts of information on the film. Really cool. So, yeah. Uh, talks about the 70s and the rise of the Sasquatch and, and popularity and all that. Um, but, yeah. So, really cool. Nice little sneak release. I had no idea this was coming, so it was a pleasant surprise. Stoked on that. And last but not least, I do have a package from... Um, Umbrella Entertainment from Australia and honestly I was really 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 debating whether or not I was going to pick this up because I don't need these releases but I had to do it because I love the films and they're just really nice releases so that being said I splurged seeing all those people who get free movies from companies and stuff I just wish I was one of them I'm just jealous yeah I'll admit it uh, but it made me want to buy them and own them for myself. I wish I could have got them for free, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, so I splurged and I picked up the trilogy of the Reanimator films from Umbrella Entertainment's Worlds on Film Beyond Genres Volume 1. So I don't know if this is like a new, I think this is like a new sub label that they're doing. Really nice, really high quality. Um, Slipcover. 
uh, special features, two disc set. You've got both cuts, the unrated version and the integral cut. And I, if I was, if I'm not mistaken, this was released in a two disc set a while ago from Umbrella. So this is kind of like a re-release, maybe with some additional features. Not really sure what's exclusive to this release, but two disc collector's edition contains two cuts of this uh, horror classic, all the gore of unrated version, along with extended scenes from the original theatrical cut. Uh, I'm not going to open this. It's been shown multiple times from people online. So check their videos out if you want. And then I have volume two of uh, Worlds on Film Beyond Genres. This is actually Bride of and Beyond Reanimator. So got the trilogy here. Uh, tons of special features on this. I'll go ahead and pause that in case you're interested in taking a gander. Um, and this is a two disc as well. So really nice, really, you know, part of me is kind of pissed that I'm not pissed, but it's just another gimmicky high class. I mean, but it's gimmicky, but these releases are really nice. They're, you know, clearly they put a lot of effort into them. They're nice and thick, two discs, bunch of special features, slip covers, you know, everything that the collector wants, the boutique collector that is, or the, the, um, niche, niche collector, whatever you want to call it, uh, niche horror collector, uh, physical media here, I am blabbing and I'm dropping my movies. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know. I'm, I got sucked in. I needed them. I needed these in my life. What can I say? So, anyways, really stoked on all those. Anybody wants to buy those two movies I mentioned in the beginning, let me know. Drop a line. Hope everybody's doing well. Uh, should be filming another video pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Hope everybody's, like I just said, is doing well. I just said that twice in a row. I know. I'm not crazy. Uh, but, yeah, it's been a while, so... Uh, New phone. This is the first time I'm recording on my iPhone. On my iPhone. Fuck! My Android 9. S9. Galaxy 9. It's not a Note. It's just a regular one. But uh, that's actually part of the reason why I haven't... Well, not really. I, I wouldn't have done a video anyway because I didn't really have anything to show you. But, um, yeah, I didn't have a phone for the last few days because my phone decided to just randomly fucking start short-circuiting and the screen went dead and I didn't have a phone for a few days. So... Good to be back. Good to do this video. Thanks for watching. Talk to you guys soon. Peace. Fuck! It's still on!